Hey there YouTube. So on this video we're taking a look at what to expect when you first get your silicone power one terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD in here. So as you can see um, I have a disk in here or hard drive. Uh, this is solid state drive 476 gigs. So that's obviously not the one terabyte, right? So uh, just a moment ago I ran user benchmark and my 960 Pro showed up, but uh, no silicone power. So let's, uh, what you got to do here is we need to format this sucker. And you see there it's unallocated, so nothing is recognizing it. And actually the first time you go in here, it'll give you a message. This time it did not. Uh, so we're going to create a new simple volume. And it's going to be letter D. We'll take that default finish. Boom. Now we have a drive in here, right? So if I come over here, you can see the drive, which is good because this one's obviously full uh, and I need to move stuff over. Uh, and this one, I'll start probably installing some games on it. Um, there will be another video where I attempt to install the operating system. Then we'll reformat it and make this a storage device. But uh, all right, so we've got that in. Let's go ahead and run user benchmark and let you guys see uh, how this compares to a good solid state drive. And I'm going to let this whole thing just run through. Um, so this usually takes about uh, three to five minutes, I think. So you could fast forward if you're watching. So I'm using a uh, Led Novo video capture card, by the way, just in case you're wondering. If not, um, it would severely hamper this benchmark if I used OBS or uh, another type of screen capture device. Now, user benchmark, you know, is, is not the best uh, for testing speeds, but I figure, you know what, might as well uh, put it up, let you guys see it. So, um, surprisingly, one of the better gaming scores I've had with, this is just a regular i7-10700. I've got a i7-10700K, uh, which beats this one. All right, so here's our drives. Now I'll tell you what, um, the fact that the 960 Pro did not register, it would have registered uh, around 300, give or take. And uh, you see how this compares to it. 
So overall, not too bad. Uh, not anywhere near as fast. Reading, writing is pretty close. The mixed value is, uh, that one's actually showing higher. Come over to the 4K. Interesting how, uh, you know, some of these are, are mixed. Which one's better, which one's not. And then uh, the deep Q, which really there's no comparison except for the middle one. So that's uh, that's what I got, folks. Um, not bad at all, I will say. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you've got this drive and you're wondering how, uh, how do I get it to actually work, well, there you go. I showed you uh, in the beginning. You've got to uh, format it. So... Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.